hi guys and welcome back to your fourth application in telegram bot so basically in this application we're creating a speech to text recognition and this is going to be based on IBM cloud services so what you're gonna want to do is go to cloud.ibm.com log in or create a new account and then you'll end up with this page so you want to click on create resource and then we're going to search for speech and you'll find this speech to text we're gonna click on it and I'm gonna create the free um, the free plan okay so now our speech to text service is created we're gonna go to manage and then just refresh the page okay so eventually we're gonna have our API key so we want to copy this API key because we're gonna use it in our tutorial so I'm just gonna um, keep it here okay so now let's see the JSON that comes from sending a voice message to our telegram so as you notice here we're having a voice object this was text in our previous tutorials so now this voice object has a very interesting field that is called file underscore ID so we want to use this file underscore ID um, parameter in order to fetch our audio file that we're gonna send to the um, the API of IBM right so what we're gonna do now is check for this voice if we have this voice variable or this voice object then we want to get the file underscore ID and use it to do the speech-to-text recognition so going back to our script which is actually created in our first application echo server in Python so if you're not sure what this is please check our first application in this series so what we're gonna do now is actually check for the voice so before the user input we want to just here create an F statement so if and we're searching for voice so if voice in JSON underscore data of message then what we're gonna do is actually call a function that we're gonna define right else then we're we're, we're just telling it all right this is a, a text message so we're receiving the user input as we always do so and then of course getting the bot output from the get response function that we used before but now what I'm gonna do if this is a voice message then we want to fetch the file underscore ID so file underscore ID is gonna be equal to JSON underscore data of message of voice of file underscore ID and we want to create a function that we're gonna call div speech to text and we're gonna give it our file underscore ID and then it's going to return to us eventually the text right so we're gonna say here bot underscore output is equal to speech to text of file underscore ID right and now we're gonna implement our speech to text function so the first thing that we're gonna do is actually getting the URL of the file okay so to get the URL of the file we're gonna call the API of the telegram using the function get file so this function is going to return to us a JSON that has the URL of our file so I'm gonna copy this um, API call URL and we wanna just create a variable here that we're calling URL is equal to and then put this URL right here and then we're gonna create a request so R is equal to requests the post and the URL is actually 
the URL variable and then the params our parameters in dictionary are going to be file underscore ID which is actually file underscore ID the parameter that we pass to the function all right so now the response actually I'm gonna create a variable that's called response which is going to be json.lotus and we're gonna give it the r.content so this response is going to have the file um, URL the file or or it's actually a part of the file URL so the voice underscore URL we're just calling it like this is equal to HTTPS colon slash slash API dot telegram dot org slash file and then slash bot and then we put our token so I'm gonna copy my bot token from here just paste it here just like that then slash and then plus response of result of file underscore path so this is going to eventually be the path of our audio file so now we want to fetch actually this audio file so I'm gonna perform a request so r is equal to requests dot get and then we just give it our um, URL so voice underscore URL and now our audio, I'm just calling it audio, the, the real audio, the bytes of this file are going to be equal to r.content. Now we want to declare the API underscore URL, which is actually the URL of the um, IBM API. It's going to be equal to, and then we're putting the um, the API URL which is this one right and then we have to perform our request to this API so what we're gonna do is actually create a request so r is equal to requests dot post and then we're gonna give it the URL which is actually the API underscore URL and then the data which are uh, which is our audio actually and then the headers so in this headers we're telling the uh, API the type of our file so our content dash type is going to be audio slash OGG so this is the format of the audio file sent by the telegram and then the authentication so auth is equal to a tuple of the API key and then we provide our API key which is actually this one that we copied from the IBM page okay so this is our request so right now we're getting the response actually which is going to be json.lotus and then we give it our r.content right so now we are going to check the results so if len of response of results is equal equal to zero then actually the uh, IBM API could not recognize our text right so we're gonna return I did not hear you well please say it again okay and if this is not the case then we're good then what we're gonna do is return response of results of zero of alternatives of zero of transcript and this is the the object actually that will correspond to our recognized text for the speech file all right 
So I guess that's it. Let's now give it a try. I'm gonna run my server. Okay, so now I'm going to test this out. So let's send a voice message. Hi, how are you? Okay, so as you see, this is the transcript of our message. And if we send just um, some garbage, there was like literally nothing in there. So it replies, I did not hear you well, please say it again. So that's it guys for this tutorial. And thanks a lot for watching.